I certainly have um, blurred stylistic lines and ignored those boundaries in my own music. Largely because I grew up listening to artists that uh, I feel did the very same thing and I've just followed that lead. borrow from you know jazz and soul and folk and blues and R&B and rock and uh, create something that's identifiably your own. I think the artists that I admire the most have done that. And that's sort of been the end goal for me. I wanted to create that identifiable signature sound that people listen to and go, you know, that's Woody Russell, man. Well, jazz is certainly my home base. It's played the most significant role in my development as an artist uh, in terms of the way I think about uh, composing on the guitar. The, last the way I phrase as a vocalist, uh, the improvisation, just the way I, I think about music in general, really. With the radio on, has a wonderful history of being very inclusive in, in that it allows other genres to filter in. Jazz musicians have a really unique way of, of dealing with um, uh, those different sounds and styles, incorporating them in the language that's so rich and sophisticated. As artists, we are uh, in the business of connection. One of my favorite quotes is, you've got to use your head 
to live with your heart. Visceral, it's uh, dealing with matters of the heart and soul, you know, the poetry of life. But it's also balanced by the head, which is thoughtful and philosophical and questioning. This is the fine balancing act of the human condition, really, both head and heart. It's what I try and bring to my songs and bring to our performances as well. <laughs> Casting flies on crystal water You told me you've got to use your head to live with your heart 